Hello, this is Jeremy Schubeck with the Photoshop Expert Series, Episode 9, Selecting Out Hair the Right Way. In this session, we're going to be going over how to go from hair selection that looks like this to hair selection that looks like this. So I showed you how to do hair selection that looks like this. And here, let's just zoom in to see how lousy this really is. Um, and what we want is something that looks a lot, a lot smoother. Is it perfect? No. But it's a lot better than it was. You know, we can see that this is by no means perfect, but it's very, very good. And it's as far as you're going to need to go. All right. So in order to do this, let's um, go back a couple of steps. Let me delete this layer mask. Um, and let's, uh, so I'm just going to drag that down to the trash. I'm going to press delete. And we are left with this looking pretty snazzy. And uh, I'm going to go into the various channels. So you could open up your uh, channel window, or we are just going to hit the uh, hotkeys of control 3, control 4, control 5. Blue channel generally has way too much noise to uh, use uh, in a practical setting, although it does seem to have the biggest difference. However, uh, the green channel, it doesn't have as big. I'm just zooming in. What I really don't want is I don't want exactly exactly the same color uh, between the foreground and the background because then it will be useless. Uh, so you'll see this and this same color. If I go into the blue channel, I'm going to have to use it even though the blue channel is, you know, a bit noisy. Not terrible here because it is clearly different between here and here. So I'm going to select everything, control A. I'm going to copy it and I'm going to go back to seeing all of three RB RGB channels. Um, so uh, just going to hit control 2 to see all of the channels at once. I'm going to deselect. I'm going to paste it in. And uh, so now we have a black and white image. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some contrast to this black and white image. So I'm just going to hit uh, Control M, uh, and I'm going to set the white point of this. So uh, Control M is for mm, curves. Uh, you know, that, that's the only uh, way I've come up with. Uh, I'm going to set the uh, black point of this. That's the only way I've come up with to remember why M stands for curves. Because uh, there really is no reason. If someone has a better mnemonic uh, technique for remembering that, uh, please, please fill me in. Because, you know, M doesn't really make sense with curves. All right, I'm going to turn the preview on and off. Um, I'm seeing I'm getting a bunch of, uh, you know, kind of... You know, a lot of clipping right here. It looks like it's going to be a problem in this area up here. So I'm just going to make it a little bit sharper. And uh, remember, and you know, I'm going to bring this down to darken it, light to uh, increase the whites. So let's bring this down a little bit. Uh, remember that step two is going into refine edge. So I'm going to cancel out of this because this is uh, too sharp. It's just too sharp. Let me show you what happens if I were to use it with this. So I'm going to press OK. I am going to... Uh, Inverts, control I to invert. I'm going to uh, select all. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to turn off this layer. I'm going to put on a layer mask. I'm going to go into the layer mask by holding down Alt and clicking. I'm going to paste it in. Uh, and now we can take a look at it right here. And uh, one thing I would do is I would go into this. I'm going to deselect. I would go into this and I would go into uh, a window mask. I could have done this earlier with refine edge, but we'll just do it when we're looking at the mask itself. Uh, I'm going to go to uh, mask edge. And I am going to refine it. So again, my step one is always set everything to zero. Um, and I'm going to uh, click Remember Settings here. And I'm going to press OK. That didn't accomplish anything, but I realize if my step one is always uh, to set things to zero, I'm just going to start with zero, and then I'm going to uncheck Remember Settings, because, you know, that's stupid. Um, all right, so I'm going to press uh, OK. Uh, let's see. Let's uh, feather the edges a little bit. Let's uh, shift the edges in a little bit. So let me uh, let me see the difference just of those two right there. Already, this is a major difference. Um, boop -ba doo feather a little bit more. Uh, shift the edges a little bit more. That's a little bit too far. You can just you know kind of see here. Let me zoom in so it's a little bit clearer to see on uh, the lousy YouTube resolution. I'm aware some of what I does does get lost on that lousy resolution right there. Maybe I can try bumping up the contrast. Um, contrast, basically, if there's any like fuzzy areas that are gray, it will shift it to black or to white, depending. I could even try smoothing it. Uh, normally, I'm not really big on smoothing because it gets rid of the sharp corners, and I'm not really big on smoothing in this case. Let me look at the before and after. Before, after, uh, before, after. It's certainly better, and um, l let me put it this way. If this is good enough for you, so let's um, let's finish this off, actually. Let's uh, get a selection of the shoulder. So, uh, you know, let's say I actually spent the time, 
let's say I actually spent the time to select around the shoulder. I did it in the past tutorial, so I see no reason to repeat the effort. I'm just going to go in here and added that shoulder back in. Um, and I, I know I did a lot of short keys in order to accomplish that, and you're not quite sure how I did that. Um, I'm OK with that. I, I really am. I'm going to talk about them a little bit more uh, when I go through this uh, one more time. All right, so if this is good enough for you, great. It's not good enough for me. So I'm going to show you how to do this slightly better in the next video. I know that this is kind of repeating getting the exact same hair selection uh, three videos in a row, so that's why I'm releasing these all at the same time. So uh, this has been part two. We went from a hair selection that looks like this to a hair selection, or was it wasn't like that? Um, that actually might be an old hair selection. This might be the hair selection. Um, okay, so we, we, we went from a hair selection that looked pretty bad to a hair selection that looked a little bit better. Uh, in the next video, we're going to make it ever so slightly better, and I'm going to more slowly go through exactly what I did with the shoulder. All right, this has been Jeremy Schubach with the uh, Photoshop Expert Series. Uh, please click subscribe up top. Please add a comment, and please tell your friends. Thanks for joining me.